All right. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my subpoenas up. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Everyone, 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 everyone can agree with that. No, I want right. you to push no for subpoena. I'll, I'll even yeah. help you. Whatever you need help with that. I'll help you with that. All right. Um, but you, you don't think that they need to be held for... I don't think so. I think the second you hold them, mm -hmm. instantly it's going to just... Like a well, switch what in have your brain? holds done before in the past? Have they helped you so much that it's, you know, made the case for you? Yeah. Do you think right now with the information you have, holding them for 24 hours will solidify you in what a... What if something in that subpoena pops up and we get up on search warrants? That would come up regardless if you just didn't 24 hour hold them. I mean, like, right, but then the guy that has access to hand grenades is running free. Yeah, it's just another day in Los Santos. What do you mean? He was just on trial a week ago for terrorism and throwing grenades at Mission Rural PD. Where's that the logic that? here? That definitely what, sounds like he needs to be. What, what does that but, have to do with, with this situation? Regular, you gotta decide. You wanna do 24 hour hold or not? It's your investigation. I'm not gonna step in and tell you how to do your job because I'm not gonna babysit people. So if you wanna okay. go in there and hold them, hold them. Just make sure they're not I held for too long. I'm talking to you guys. Then I could have had my subpoenas by now. Okay, go ahead and hold them. Let's work on the subpoenas and get that out of the way. Let's go. Okay, all right. Thanks. All right, I'm going to start working on this. Uh, Shane, start working on the report regarding what happened so we can get the subpoena done. The fast we can help out. Honest, that's uh, that's ridiculous. You should not be supporting that type of stuff for 24 hour holds. Bro, we have no evidence that says that JP was robbing the casino. I don't know where that leap Can come I from. Some so, from my side here? Go ahead, Mr. K. Yeah, go ahead. I would say uh, this is like prematurely ejaculating. You know what I mean? Yeah, a hundred percent. That's exactly my thought process. My thought well, process. Well, well, why did you stand up then when he's saying these things, Bass? You're the because chief, brother. I am not going to come in here and, and change everything every single time. I shouldn't have to lead every single investigation and make sure that it's bulletproof. No, but okay? every investigation he does, it leads to these 24 hour holds and, and causes more if, problems. If, if Wrangler is a reoccurring cycle. Okay, if, okay, so I spoke with Wrangler, and I talked to him, I think it was last week, and I told him, listen, these things you're doing are backfiring, and they're causing PDs more damages. You have to pay the price. He already knows. So, but what does that price mean? What does that mean? Uh, punishment, strikes, I mean, possible demotion. So, I mean, I'm going to play devil's advocate here, being the fact that I'm a detective. And if these guys aren't willing to go to an interrogation and speak to him, he has every right to no, 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 take the time he needs. No, 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 but that, a, okay, so here's the thing. 24 holds shouldn't be a... Something you wave over somebody's head to make them talk to you. That should never happen. I don't happen. think that's, that's his intention. That is 100% his intention. Are no, you crack? No. I, he does I, this I, every not. time Look, JP's in here. I'm, I'm ready to be the, the most hated man in the room. The, the truth is in the middle, and there's two, I, I think, kind of very opposing philosophies that are currently at head. Mm -hmm. On one is we know damn well what the fuck is happening in there unless we're closing our eyes and clogging our ears. True. We no, no, saw no, no. where they yeah. went. We but saw where the shit was happening. We know what the fuck is happening. You don't stumble in the place Secondly, where we found them, right? Hold on, hold on. Secondly, we know that this shit has been leading up for the past three weeks unless we go and delete all the evidence and all the stuff we've found so far. Yeah, and the conversations that was told about. Let me, let yeah. me get this out before getting interrupted so we get everything on the table. <laughs> what Wrangler's main point here is that he has enough to get these he believes, right? Yes. Yeah, and that's all you need. He has and, enough and probable cause. I think cause he does have it. enough. Hold yeah, on. Correct. Wait, 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 let me just let me just finish. The reason that he's pushing for warrants, and this is a philosophical thing, is that if that shows, if those records show that there's more truth to it, and these guys go in and get rid of the evidence that may not be in their own houses, then that throws away the entire investigation. On the flip side. Because of the recklessness of everything that is happening and the amount of information that's fallen in our lap, do we ourselves pull back? And I can agree with, I see that perspective as well. This is more of I'm a saying? tactical situation where we can pursue, the, we can go about yeah, this, not the Wrangler, dick hard, jamming so, in there when it doesn't right. go in. That's my philosophy oh, I as well. Dispute. Yeah, that's, I, like we can I, take I, this I, way more calculated than we have a case instead of going to court and then it falling apart, like the terrorism case that you guys had. No, like, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing, Gary. Okay, I agree with you. My philosophy is pretty simple. If you, if, if somebody in prison is not useful to you, then don't place them in there. These guys out there are more useful to us going back to the casino and doing the same shit they did before because we can A, investigate further, B, figure out what the fuck they're doing, and C, go in there and see what they're looking for exactly. So next time it happens, we're prepared for it and have drawn the map completely as far as what is going on in the casino. That's all I want. Yeah, place that's a, fine. And we place them and in we 24 hold that point. Exactly. But you saying that, hey, hold them for 24 hours for the subpoenas? 
Brother, that does not help what we just talked about. So, like, what you're saying but here is not matching. He match is the lead investigator on the thing. I can't come in there every single time. I can't. Sorry. But he gonna... literally entered the casino and said, "I have no idea what's going on here." Literally. No, no he clue. was he was part of the the, the the incident outside, leading inside, right? That's why I deferred to Wrangler. Right. Wrangler came to I'm, me. I'm, I, I can't step in every single time and try to baby the PD. Well, then who, okay? some, but the thing is, somebody needs to hold Wrangler accountable. I will. Because if, every if this, time it falls on our 20, shoulders. It, if it becomes... this 24 hole does not play out the way it's supposed to play out, and there's more harm than actual uh, help that comes out of it, I'll be the first person to hold Wrangler responsible. Because okay. if he and wants I'm going to hold you responsible, Bass. I, everyone here in this circle hears you what you're saying. You can hold me responsible when it comes to that because I'm a man of my word. But like I said, I can't come to Brian and say, you're not... I, every single time, stop doing that, right? Yeah. I can't come that to you, Gary, be... and say, because I would be too much doing macro managing of the PD. And that, that and that's fair, but it's like eventually, <laughs> hey man, Wrangler's been given a lot of leeway to do whatever he wants and he's... lately. And no, it just, no, that's not true, actually. Point, he's, last... he's been, I, I listen, I've been witness to the pushback that's happening. So, oh, finally, I, I, yeah, a little bit. No, 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 no Gary. I, so you're right. I, I at one point, unfair to, it's unfair to say that. Because, because let's not twist what Wrangler is doing. Even though I do not agree with the philosophy, because I don't think we're going to get enough out of it. If he is saying he's holding him simply long enough to get the subpoenas out, and it shouldn't take more than like thirty to forty minutes, then let him do that. If Bast ends up stepping in, then he's got to step in on everything, because we're never going to always agree on exactly how investigations and and things happen. A thousand percent. And if it's something that ends up burning him or is going outside of the scope of what we shouldn't shouldn't be doing. I don't even think that falls into Bass's territory. And the I'm DOJ sure. also reviews holds, and like they can deny holds. If DOJ came and like chewed us a, a new one. What was it last week? So yeah, so Gary, it started with the PD lockdowns. I'm not sure if you know about that mess or not. What happened with uh, Mari Post and everything like that? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, when I was like, course. okay, Wrangler, enough is enough. You gotta abide by the guidelines, or punishments are coming through. And we spoken last week about that kind of shit. And I told him, listen, hey man, if you don't fucking Step up your shit and clean it. Then consequences will be coming your way. And I'm more about ethics and making sure that job, uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing your job as a police officer, you're actually doing the job, not neglecting it or just, you know, half assing it. And, and, and that's why, and that's why I'm saying here, hey, I think we can still do an amazing job getting these subpoenas, doing anything we need to do, send these guys off, let them spend their time in prison. Nothing's gonna change. In an hour, four hours, they're gonna go right back to the casino doing what they're doing. Allegedly, that you guys believe they were. What if they have a robbed? collection of thermite that is being used for this? Just as an example, it's sitting in someone else's property, and they listen. We've what? arrested these guys so many times. You, if you think them us oh, right I, now, they're gonna I move agree. it. I agree with you, but that's the angle he's coming from, and it's hard for me to say that Wrang Wrangler doesn't go to these things. He does. He know this. Do you believe he does? Which I'm pretty sure, uh, does you know have a felonious amount of thermite? Because that's an easy search warrant. I could write that no. up in literally three Wait, sentences. No, Wait, what are you talking about? Good night. I'm pretty sure you know had uh, thermites in his house. He had nothing on him, not a single thing. We're hitting him with trespassing. We had the thermite? He, he smelled like uh, aluminum oxide. Oh, he just smelled like it? So yeah. nobody actually had the thermite the on their The is that he made The guy that he was laying next to, looking for his shoelace apparently, according to his story, had thermite on him, Tony. How much thermite? One. Oh, okay. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I, I get your point of view, Gary, about the hold. I also get Wrangler's point of view. Um, you, you never know what the scope of the investigation is, and this is why cooperating with the police a little bit goes a long way. Um, from it's, Wrangler's it's, point of view, this, somebody's this not going to work. They're, it, they're willing to work with the police. They're not willing to work with Wrangler. I don't think they talk to anybody, honestly. I don't, I don't think they talk no, to I, me. I, I or, disagree with that statement. I literally just talked to him before they were down here. Like, he wouldn't tell me what we were doing down there. He, he, wouldn't, he said he was just gambling. And if that's a story, that's a story. Uh, I mean, he's told you. I mean, because yeah, he's like, even he the answer. literally the inside order. the security room. How the hell do you go from over there to gambling? JP was in the executive offices. No, I'm talking about you and Tony. And them as a whole, right? How the hell do you go from gambling yeah. to you being. Their story? So, like, the, you know, story is yo. He, listen, I don't believe his story. I'm not buying his story, but I'm just telling you what he's saying. But like, if that's what he's saying, that's what he's saying. You know, we, we can't prove him wrong or prove him right. So I just want to Shane, 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 I want you to go. I want you to be with Wrangler and get the paperwork done, please. Okay. I'm already writing paperwork. Go, go, go over there. Whatever he needs help with, get it done. Because I don't want these guys mm -hmm. in there for fucking 20 hours. I got you.
and waking up to a fucking shit show. So get that, make sure it's done, all right? Alright, so, want me to send, is Juno getting, uh... Yeah, I'll come back. Yeah, let's go find Ryan. Where is he right now?